All right, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm gonna do a quick uh, feeding video, and I guess um update vid on, I guess you could kind of say like my um dwarf boa collection. Basically, it's like um sand boas, rosy boas, and viper boas, or boas that stay usually stay under 30 inches or so. So let's see who will eat. He's in the water. Will he eat? Let's see. Uh, tail came off. Restricting it as you can see. Put him back in his water. This is my male viper boa. Here goes the female. See if she'll eat. Maybe not. She got that like a rock. Right. Here goes another female viper. Not picking up a color too great. See, a slightly smaller rat. I don't know if you hear that. It sounded like the rat was alive. That was interesting. Damn thing sounded like it was in pain after death. Love how they rap. They use their whole body to kill it. A lot like anacondas. Here goes uh female rough scale. Yeah, I got everybody on paper right now. I ran out of bedding. So until I get some bedding, they'll be kept on paper. I doubt she's gonna eat. Yeah. They usually prefer striking out of their bedding. one wants to eat. Nope. And she's making a run for it. Where are you going? <coughs> Goes my annery. Pretty quick. This is an annery sand boa. What's she at? Yeah, I feed everybody frozen thawed small rats. Try to get one that's a little larger. 
Oh, for this girl coming up. My biggest sand ball female. She's 500 grams. Here goes my female Rosie. Boy, what I gave birth last year. No, I mean this year actually. Still this year. Let's see. Yeah, you got it. Use all that body. Okay, so. Last one. No, that one's too small. All right. This is an albino rosy boa. It was a pretty new pickup. Um, she's a certain line of albino. Let me see if you can catch the color. Just can't remember what line she is. Let's see. There you got it. So that's pretty much it. That's all the small boa species I have. Anybody that's interested in having boas and prefers smaller ones, these make great, great snakes. They stay smaller than um, corn snakes and king snakes and give live birth. And the rosies and um. Sambo was coming a bunch of different color mutations, so that's pretty cool. I would say the rosy bow was are probably the best out of these three type um the other two types, the sand and vipers when it comes to handling. Sandboas don't really like to be up in the air I handle too much. And viper bow is a little bit unpredictable. They could be calm and then revert back to being aggressive and very bitey snakes how long? 8 minutes but I can't show the feeding but you get the point especially for anybody that doesn't really like snakes that they give problems when it comes to feeding these viper boas and rosy boas sand boas too they eat great See my little viper. Oh yeah, viper bows are not venomous, so I know a lot of people keep asking me that every time I show them. They're a species of boa, not venomous. That's it. Later.